Hello everyone, and welcome back to Okami. Uh, on the last episode, we just made it to the frozen land of Kamui. And uh, we've been told by uh, this guy here, Oki, that uh, there's a prophecy that that sword he's using, Kutone, will glow silver when the time is right for us to shatter the wall of ice and for the way to the heavens to be open. So that sounds exciting. Um, there does appear to be one heck of a curse zone. Hey, is that the arrow guy? Yeah. Oh, it's you again, Poochie. Hey, aren't you... I knew it. You're that Master Bowman, the apple guy. What are you doing all the way out here in this nasty blizzard? Well, you see, I've kind of realized something. I, I, I've kind of realized something. It's just hanging off all my travels. Good lord. It's my bow. It seems to bring about misfortune. So I decided to go far away where it couldn't cause any trouble. And what do you know? I ended up all the way uh, up here in the north. Anyway, Poochie, want to have a bite to eat and relax a bit. Thanks. Oh! Okay, great. Well, what the... Now my arrows bring on thunder. This can't be a coincidence. Doesn't seem like a curse, either. This must be fate. It has to be a sign from the gods. It's my destiny to live and die with my arrows. Alright, buddy, whatever you say. All this time I've been saying I wanted to do big things. But it's really just traveling so I could live an easy life. Now I see there's no such thing as an easy path. Not when you devote yourself to mastering one thing. The gods have shown me my true path. The path of archery. So what are you going to do now? Time's come for me to stop being so whimsical. My real journey starts here and now. We must have some kind of strange link between us. It's only when you two are around that the gods show their hand. I'll never forget both of you. If we ever meet again, let's share a few apples together. Farewell, Frank, my friends. See you later, buddy. Good luck on your, uh, your arrow pilgrimage. The apple guy's gone. Boy, he sure was all fired up, even more so than usual. He's finally found his reason to live. Only all of us could do that. Sure would be nice, huh? Um... We've got, uh... Got some praise to spare. Just chuck it into some... An, another astral pouch, just to be safe. Because that was, like, a minor boss that I just fought in the last episode, and he still almost kicked my butt. I mean, he did. But, like, he, he didn't even kill me once, and I still had two extra lives, so... He... Didn't really get that far. Why was he purple? Did you see that? Okay, uh, okay, you look purple there for a second. Oh, those are explosives. I was like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> Would have been a, a little bit tragic. Our journey came to an end by a shiny bomb. Okay, uh, so bloom wouldn't work from this far away, would it? I guess it would. It's still covered in ice, but, I mean, it's better. It's definitely a lot more, um, habitable, I guess. Hospitable, perhaps, might be a better word. Which reminds me, we haven't, uh, we haven't spoken to Sakuya in a while. Ooh, sheepies. I assume you eat herbs? Let's see if, uh, if Oki has anything to say now that we've, uh, blossomified the area. And he's gone. Let's investigate over here. This seems to be like its own separate little thing. A dog. Huh? Is that you, doggy? You remember me? We played together back in Nagata Forest. I do remember you, yes. Kokari, is that you? How'd you get all the way out here? I wanted to become a real man like Susano, so I took my dad's fishing pole and set out on an epic journey. You know, I like the river, but it's nothing like the vast sea. It makes me realize just how insignificant my life was. 
Wow, you're no longer that crybaby you met in Nagata Forest. Now that I think about it, you look more grown up, too. <laughs> you really think so? Seeing so a lot of Nippon's great something. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Kamui is a far harsher environment than anywhere else. If I could prove myself equal to the harsh loneliness here, maybe I could become a real man like Sasano. There he is again, getting back to nature with his fishing pole and without a line of bait to boot. Now I know why my dad cherishes this bowl. When I hold it in my hands, I can hear Mother Nature herself speak. Hey, doggy, how about we do some fishing, just like old times? Sure, why not? Maybe it'll yield something. That appears to be an oyster. Or a clam. A scallop. Well, it's something like that. Way to go, Ami! The more, the more you fish, the more larger fish become. Let's go to three. Three is usually the magic number, so let's see what happens. Bluefish. You're on a roll, champ. Don't give up now. Oh, but the fish are really getting bigger. A octopus. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way they just spin through the air. Ooh, that's 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 a tough one. That's a big one, alright? A Supreme Tuna! Is that the biggest one I can get? Yeah, a real champ! I mean, I guess let's, uh, let's see what else might be here. This is my last try. Yeah, I think the Supreme Tuna was the guy I was looking for. Got so excited I forgot everything else. We gotta get back to work. Yep. Wow, I can't believe I caught one that big! Have I finally become a real man? No, I still have a way to go. Oops, wow, now that brings back my face. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, yeah, I get you. I'm sorry. Is this a dojo? Sure is. Hey, my little friend. What the, not you again. Can't you just pick a place to run your dojo and stick with it? I've already explained myself, no? Be it a lone isle among the waves or the most frigid mountain peak. I forged a warrior's path throughout the land. Wow, you're one serious dude, and here I thought you were laid back. Your face really changes when you get back down to business. What's brought you here? Uh, do you once again seek my tutelage in the fighting arts? Break objects you couldn't break before by tackling them. That's interesting. Uh, equip rosaries as main and sub to increase attack power. Quick blazes main answer. Okay, yeah. No, I don't care for that. Uh, if you've mastered Fleet Foot, damage enemies with this new dodge. Holy Eagle maneuvers will now damage enemies. These both sound good. Although I don't really use Fleet Foot that much. Let's try. We can remember that for later, but for now, I think uh, let's just learn this one. See what it's what it's like. Holy Eagle, space jump, press again to jump higher. Holy Falcon causes attack power to accumulate. Changes the jump into an aggressive and powerful attack. I think so. No, I, I guess that that just means that I will damage enemies with my uh, my jump there, which is a, a good in and of itself because that means that enemies that are flying in the air I can still hit them relatively easily. All right, I guess let's uh, continue on a little bit further, see what we can find. But it does appear to be a glowy over here and a cutscene. That's interesting. I can I set that on fire? That is weird. <laughs> I don't like it. You know, I figured I could uh, set the the little thing inside on fire, but apparently not. Oh, well, wait a second. Owie.
Well, I got it. I don't I don't quite know what it was that uh like exposed its weak point, but I got it. So mission accomplished. I could have sworn I saw a glowy right here. Maybe this was no, because it was like a yellow glowy. Hello. Want some fish? Enjoy. Oh. Another spring, it appears. Alright. You give me a minute. I will uh, unalive you in, in due time. Hello. <laughs> I am blockade. I got this place so that all shall pass. Uh, wait, make that none shall pass. Not you again. You just never learn, do you? Well, again, I gotta hand it to you. You're one persistent dude. Yeah, he's pretty hard-headed, isn't he? <laughs> White demon of death, finally you've come this far. In the name of the blockhead clan, I, blockhead grande, strongest of our clan, rise up to stop you. I thought the last guy was the strongest of your clan. I know of your deadly skills. They have seen they have been the end of my brethren, and I have not underestimated you. Indeed, I have been training daily to ready myself for your arrival. My body is now as hard as steel, I defy you to find any weak points. Go right ahead, strike my rock hard body to your heart's content. It'll be our pleasure. But let me ask you, how come you guys never take the offensive? I mean, how do you expect to ever win that way? <laughs> Rocket Clan can never resort to, never resorts to such boorish acts. Take the beating, then dish it out. That is our clan's philosophy. Now the time for talk is over. Come strike me if you dare. Oh god. Uh it was like Oh, I missed one. Dang it. There we go. That took way too long. No, this cannot be. You have struck every last one of my weak points, and after I tried so hard to cover them up, your sight is not of this world. It is like the eyes of the gods. Uh, yeah, that's the one, actually, yes. Oh, white demon of death. Behold, the moment of death is upon me. May this image be burned into your eyes for all eternity. Maybe if you weren't, like, obnoxious, that wouldn't happen to you guys so much. Also, sorry for your loss, rest in peace. Blockhead Grande, I'll see to it that your epic tale lives on forever. Why? He was kind of being a doofus to us. Silver Pocket Watch. Pretty little number displays its own enhanced version of time. What does that, what does that mean? Stray bead. Well, that's nice. Gold dust. That that's pretty nice too. Hmm. Okay. Well, great. I'm glad we uh, came in here. Uh, I did spend long enough in there that I actually have no idea how long this episode's been going on. It took me many a try to get uh, Block of Grande down. Um. I guess. Let's get to that, that last building up there, and uh, then we'll call it an episode. Nope. Get countered, idiot. Well, that wasn't too bad.
Why am I so slow? What was that? Oh, great. That appears to be a statue of some kind, a, a sheer Nui statue, maybe? Also, Mermaid Pond, that's great. Did that work? Oh, perhaps a little too well, it, it seems. Moppy, what's in here? Wally, oh, what have I done? If this carries on, Kamui will be ruined. I have to do something to stop them, but I'm no match for those assassin monsters. Oh, what am I going to do? If only some kind wolf protagonist would come through and help me out. I'm doing to spend the rest of my days here thinking of fear of those monsters. What's eating you, young man? Might feel better if you just talk about it. Oh, you have a ponkle with you. A white wolf and a ponkle? That's like the old legend. This must be the will of the gods. They must have told you to come here and help me. Nah, you got it all wrong, young man. I'm not, I uh, find the whole young man thing something. I've got a proper name, you know. I'm called Wally. Wally. Listen to my tale, messenger of the gods. It all started just over a year ago. I was living in Wepkir, the village up in the mountains. It's home to Kutone, the divine sword that protects Kamui. Because the village elder always treated it with so much respect, I couldn't help feeling curious, so one day I touched it. I only touched it a tiny little bit, honest. Ever since then I seem to be cursed with bad luck. My sandals broke, I was rejected by the girl I like, I banged my toe countless times, and an icicle fell on my head. On top of all that, this awful blizzard came along. Now there's assassin monsters out in the wild trying to kill me. I didn't want to cause more trouble, so I came to live here. Wow, I can't believe you survived this long all by yourself. So what did those assassin monsters do to you? Well, it's very strange. You see, they're always staring at me from way off in the distance. I know what they're up to. They're trying to break me emotionally. Then they'll come in for the kill. You have to help me, Wolfie. You have to get rid of them. See, there's a whole list with their names. Ah, okay, I see. Uh, so, yeah, this is the bounty list for this area. Boy, you sure go through a... You sure are a thorough young man. I think the guys play some kind of mark on the assassin monsters. You definitely know when you see one. They're very wary, though. They only come out at night. Please get rid of them for me so I can sleep peacefully again. Get around to that, maybe, possibly, probably not. Hi. Well, that's great. Found one. Hey, the monster's got an exercising arrow stuck in it too. I mean, somebody really want to get rid of the monster. Don't let it get away. Yeah, I I don't really know how to handle these guys. My fire burst doesn't really seem all that effective. There we go, okay. So it tuckered itself out, and then I used the fire on it. No! There we go. Yeah, th I think there's like ice here that's screwing me up. That was one of those assassin monsters from the Record of Penance. We just happened to find it. Boy, you never know what you find next. You know what the Record of Penance you have? Well, you can cross out uh, Creeping Igloo. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Um, okay. Well, then I'm going to take care of this, and then we'll make it to that building, and then that'll be a good place to call it an episode, I think. I uh, shouldn't have skipped that. Absent-mindedly skipping through the cutscenes at this point. Okay, yeah, I clearly, uh, clearly need a break. <laughs> oh, 
Was ist das? Treasure. Clover. Das ist ein Klee. Uh, I don't see what it was that I'm seeing on the map here. Some kind of building, but there was no building there. Oh. I, I bet I have to... No? I don't know. Um, I think I'm just gonna call it an episode. Uh, I'm just... I'll get this treasure chest. Um, but yeah, so we made it to Kamui. We did a bit of exploring. Oh! Great. Um, and yeah, we got lots of goodies. Uh, so yeah, I'd call that a successful episode. Uh, not quite as... Um, progression heavy as I had hoped, but that's okay. I think we're well on our way towards making some more progression on the next episode. So until then, see you later.